This last part is the Pearson coefficient of skewness. We have two formulas to find the coefficient of skewness. You can use either one. We are usually use this following relationship. If the mode less than median, less than mean, so our skewness will more than zero. So the distribution is positively skewed. This is the illustration for the distribution. If the mean less than median, less than mode, then the skewness must be less than zero. So the distribution is negatively skewed. So the distribution should be like this. And then if the mean is equal to median equals to mode, so the our skewness is equal to zero. So this is the symmetrical distribution. When the coefficient is very close to zero or negative or positive, the distribution data is, we call it as approximately normal. So how to impress the value of the skewness? When example, if we have 0 0.708, so this data is positively skewed. If we have 0, 0.0 and then followed by any number, we must put the word slightly positively skewed or slightly negatively skewed. To, find, uh, to know either it is positive or negatively skewed, it's more easier if we do have negative sign in front of the value, so it should be negative. Example 1 for this ungrouped data, determine the Pearson coefficient of skewness for the following data. So since we have two formula of skewness, we can choose either one. But for this example, as we can see that we have two mode, which is the value of 3 and then the value for 5. So we have two mode. So we cannot use the formula involving mode. So we cannot use this formula. We can just use this first formula to find the skewness. Pearson coefficient of skewness. To find the mean, just total up all the numbers and then divide by number of observations. So our mean is equal to 4. The median, so to find the median, make sure you have to rearrange first your data in order to find the median, please arrange your data in ascending order. So our median is equals to 4. And then we need to find the standard deviation. So standard deviation basically try to follow the formula then you will get 1.4142. Then just put all the values inside the formula of Pearson coefficient of skewness, then you should get equals to zero. When we get our SK is equals to zero, that means our data is symmetrical distribution. Example two, for the above data, find the mean, median, mode and standard deviation. As this is about group data, so we should have our own table and then we want to find the standard deviation. So in our table, we should have the column for fx square. Again, to find the value for fx square, we must squaring up the value of x first and then multiply with f. Then we will get the value for ff, fx square. So next, we want to find the mean. The mean is summation of fx divided by summation of f. Then you should get the answer for the mean is 12.625. To find the median, first we have to calculate the R observation as we want to find which class is the median class. Then Try to recognize what's the value for our L, lower boundary for the class, cumulative frequency before the median class, and then frequency at the class. Next is calculate the class size. 
So substitute all the value into the formula, then you will get the median is 13. To find the mode, we have to look at, at the column of frequency and then find, determine which number is the highest frequency. So here 11.5 until 14.5 is our model class. Then determine what's the value for D1, D2, the value for the class size and then the lower boundary. So substitute into the formula then you will get the mode is equals to 13.5. Now we want to find the standard deviation but first we have to calculate for the variance as we have all the values just substitute into the formula then calculate so the variance is 13.05 then to find the standard deviation we have to set the value of variance therefore our standard deviation is equal to 3.912. Now we want to calculate the Pearson coefficient of skewness as we have mean standard deviation and median we should use this formula and then try to calculate so the skewness we will get negative 0.3115 or we can just use the second formula as we have the value for mean standard deviation and then mode. Then when we calculate, we will, we will get the different value from the previous answer but the sign remains same. The first answer, we, we get negative 0 0.3115. So this one will also get negative but different value. So we can conclude that this distribution is negatively skewed.